So in this video, I want to discuss the chain rule. So let's say we have a function, actually we'll call it h of x. So h of x is equal to f of g of x. So this is some composite, composite function, which means the function is inside another function. So, I mean, we can say, for example, that if f of x is, uh, I don't know, sine of x, then, then g, and, and g of x is x squared, then f of g of x would be f of g of x would be sine of x squared. Because what we do is we substitute x squared for wh wherever we see x in f of x. So f of g of x is sine of x squared, which is equal to h of x, because we defined h of x to be f of g of x. Now, where I'm getting, uh, where I'm going with this is, I want to introduce how to take the derivative of composite functions. And we, the way we do this is, is we actually have to use something called the chain rule. So I'm going to first introduce the general format, and then we'll take the derivative of this example here. So the general format here is h prime of x, which is the derivative, is equal to f prime of g of x, so f prime of g of x, times the derivative of the inside. And this is why it's called the chain rule. It's sort of a chain where you take the derivative of the whole thing and then you multiply it by whatever is inside. And then you, you come up with, a, you can think of it as a chain of, 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 of uh, products, of functions getting multiplied. So now in this case, let's utilize this formula and take the derivative of this green example here. All right, so we have a specific case where h of x, where h of x is sine of x squared. So we notice that this is a function inside a function where our outside function is sine of x and our inside function is x squared. So we first take the derivative of the outside so h prime of x is equal to, the root of sine of x is cosine of x. So this is cosine of x squared. And in this case, uh, x is, uh, quotations, x is x squared, right? Um, and so, in the, and then the, the root of the inside, which is the root of x squared is 2x. So times 2x. So our answer for h prime of x is 2x cosine of x squared. Now, uh, so notice what, what we're doing here is if we have a function inside a function, we cannot just take the derivative of the, of the, the function and, you know, and say that's the derivative. We have to make sure to use the chain rule. And so let's do one more example here. Let's say we have, let's say we have another function, which I'll define v of x. And v of x will be, let's see, we'll say tangent of sine of x to the third. So there's a, in this case, there are three functions or yeah, three functions inside of each other. So the, so the outside function is tan of something. And, and then we have an inside function, which is sine of something. And then the, 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 the most like inside function is x to the third. So it's the outside function, the second two inside, and then the inside function. So we have to use chain rule twice here. So first, let's take the derivative of the outside. So v prime of x is equal to, well, der uh, the derivative of tangent of anything is secant squared of that anything. And the reason why I'm calling it anything here is because um, it's not just x, right? It's sine of x to the third. So we have secant squared of sine of x to the third. And then we use chain rule. Now we take the derivative of this function, we multiply it. So the, the derivative of that is cosine of anything. So cosine, and in this case, the anything is x to the third. Now, finally, we take the derivative of the inside function, which is x to the third. And the derivative of that is three x squared. So we multiply it by three x squared. And then you could think of it like we're taking now the derivative of the inside function of this, which is just x, but that's just one. So if you want, you can multiply it by one but we usually just skip that part because it doesn't change anything. All right, now we just rewrite this. So V prime of X is equal to secant, or I can write the X in the beginning. So three X squared, secant squared of sine of X to the third times cosine of X to the third. And that right there is the derivative chain rule. 